Okay, so this is the <laughs> so this is the uh, introduction. I'd say I'm gonna have a movie playing in the background while I do this. Just you know, just have some background music so I don't go insane while I'm doing this. Uh, so this is the Sega Game Gear. Uh, this one is kind of uh, eh, kind of worn here and there. It's got some damage here with the battery cover, but uh, not nah, to worry. Uh, what is to worry about is the damage on the inside. We have corrosion here. Uh, this is going to be on the uh, the panels where the buttons are, and we do have a little bit of corrosion. So we're going to um, solder all of the new uh, stuff to the PCB board, and then go from there, and then see if I get any contact there. If not, we'll go back and we'll redo that. Uh, I have already fixed a Sega Game Gear with the method that you're about to see here. Uh, I went on eBay and I bought. A good old kit this was like 15 bucks and if you know how to do this stuff yourself 15 bucks is a really I mean it's really affordable for um, fixing you know your game gear uh, so I uh, oh fuck my life look what an idiot I am I just burnt the soldering uh, protector onto the soldering iron so I just cleaned that off um, so I'm gonna go into the details here uh, this is a uh, ACIS or ASIC. Oh, yeah, yeah. So here's the single and here's the twin. Uh, if you can tell, it matches to the corresponding um, uh, resistors that you'll have to put in and exactly where you're going to have to put them. Uh, this is the single ASIC because you see you have, um, uh, you have uh, one here, one here, one here. So we match it here, one here, one here, right here. This big circle is where the little pad is. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So on this one you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? And you say, oh, well, how do you know what the difference is? Well, if you flip this over, the other one that I worked on is a twin and they're in completely different spots. You see how there's one here, one here? Well, they're not here. It's not, it's not the same model. And I believe there's only two models of Sega Game Gear. I, I don't know about the alternate colors or the orange one or the blue one or uh, however that works. And, and as you can see, I've already removed all of the uh, old uh, ass ones, ones you don't even need. Um, once, I mean, honestly, if you're replacing one, you might as well replace them all, especially if you have all of them for a really good price. Uh, the tools that I usually use, it's gonna be something like this. This is what I pick some of the corrosion off with. This is really, really helpful. Uh, this is what I kind of uh, trim down the uh, resistors with. Um, always a screwdriver. Uh, I like to use a uh, 6337. Um, it's just, it's just good stuff. It's cheap, but it's good. Uh, you'll need a safety screwdriver for just one specifically, just one screw. It's gonna be this one. It's located on the back over here, that top one. Um, uh, solder sucker, these are super, super helpful, especially for old solder. Uh, and honestly, just anything you have laying around, <laughs> everything else is just kind of null and void. You need a, a soldering iron, of course, that boy over there. Um, when it comes to zooming in, I really don't have any, like, uh, anything crazy, any crazy machinery, like a microscope or anything like that for you to see. I just want you to get the general... I guess picture eventually I'm gonna invest in a microscope and then you can kind of look from there but that's kind of a ways away they're not expensive but they're not cheap all right cool you're probably gonna see a lot of shaking here because the desk but um you'll live uh, so I'm gonna put all the screws to the side I usually have something like a metal tray these are super handy uh, I'm not really sure what these other screws are doing here but uh Hopefully these are not needed for anything important because if they are, well, sorry, I'm throwing them to the side. Uh, so I'm gonna put all these in a separate container. I like to separate the um, the sizes. I mean, even if you know exactly where they go, it's just kind of important. But I already know where these go. I've already done this a few times, but it's always good to separate them. Don't do what I'm doing by mixing everything up. And then all of the uh, the junk bits right here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna toss these away real quick. Alrighty, so the audio you're gonna be hearing today is going to be from When a Stranger Calls. If you hear any audio, that's just the movie I'm watching. <coughs> Jesus. Uh, just a, um, a tidbit of what I'm doing. 
Uh, you might not be able to see everything, but I can't see what I'm seeing right now on the camera, so whatever. Uh, I'm going to do the main board first, which is this. It's going to be in order uh, from bottom to top, so I'm just going to flip it up like this and then go from there. Uh, the first one I'm going to start off with is going to be this one right here. This is going to be the 33. And th this will actually go in order of what you need to do. I mean, you can do it any order you want. I don't care personally. But, um, yeah, we're just going to start there and work our way up. There's probably going to be a lot of jump cuts and a lot of fast forwarding shit. Um, if you would like to know how to solder or where to begin, honestly, there's 100,000 videos on YouTube. So I think me telling you um, would be a little unnecessary only because it seems hard, but it's really not. You just really just need to know the whole cleaning process. I think that's what matters the most, honestly. Um, cleaning the tip knowing how to tin the tip also to keep it nice because if you're going through tips every single three days you know that's this is gonna waste your money uh, so what I'm doing right here is I don't know if you can see I, can, I don't know anything I can't see anything so whatever so <laughs> um, this little portion right here that I'm touching I'm touching the solder and I'm getting it kind of warmed up uh, that way it's prepared for what I'm going to put on it. I also want to size it up because I don't want it to be long or sticking out. Uh, I want it to be nice and clean and pretty for in case somebody else has to open it in the future. It makes their life easier. Uh, although this is not for somebody else in the future. It's for me, you know, just in case, you know, if you sell it or anything like that. Uh, first, I'm going to start by clipping it. Uh, from right here, I can see that it should be this long. But you want to keep it just a little bit longer. So put a little even clip. You also want to pay attention to um, uh, where's the where's the fucking thing? Okay, uh, positive and negative. I'm not sure if it's zooming in and out of my hands, but who knows? Uh, make sure you're putting everything where it needs to go, especially positive and negative on the board, because if you put it wrong, it's gonna you're gonna get goofed in the long run here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bend these just a little bit here just so I can get kind of like a like a stance uh, I'm awful at explaining this but it works so we'll just go from here and that's on there see it's all nice and sturdy um, it's always good to put just a little bit on the tip there Lost a little fucking ball over there. Cool. And this can bend anywhere you want it. You see how it kind of interferes with the, the volume button? I might have to push that back later, but honestly, it shouldn't it shouldn't get in the way. Alrighty, so I have that one thing in there, and. Uh, the corrosion on here is actually kind of bugging me, so I'm going to start cleaning this off. Uh, so I'm going to do a little um, uh, a go fast portion. Uh, it's a portion of the video where things just go fast um, because I don't want you to hear my heavy breathing um, because I'm actually 900 pounds overweight. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, leave me alone, I'm working. Okay, so I got the cleaning portion out of the way. I got it cleaned up just a little bit more. I mean, there's not really much I can do cleanup wise. Uh, the corrosion's kind of rough, but um, I'm gonna start on the next one. And the next one, are, they're gonna be four different areas where these tins are at. And as you can see, they all say main board, so that's really helpful. Uh, you know exactly where everything's going. There's no mystery there. Why haven't you checked the children? Why haven't you checked the children, okay? 
so this is the original when the stranger calls or when a stranger calls or uh when betty crocker calls and um i haven't seen the original i saw the the new one and the new one sucked big farts so hopefully i'm getting it getting a better uh readout from this one so as you can see you already know what to do next so c4 11 14 and 42 are all 10 f so we're looking at c4 bam uh c11 bam c14 uh, C42, bam, uh, C42, there. So, I mean, you already know where to put it. So we're gonna start over here, put this one over here. Uh, I, I chose this one, 42 specifically, because uh, 1942 is when I was born, so it means a lot to me. So I'm gonna start there. <laughs> if you can't tell, my sarcasm is absolute dog shit, so. As always, stay positive and negative. You want to stay positive and negative because that is the best way to not screw everything up. If your life is already falling in shambles like mine, this would be the worst place to start screwing everything up. Uh, so we got positive on this side and negative on the other. So we're going to just throw it in there like that. Um, like an idiot, I forgot to bend the arms. So we're going to go ahead and bend the arms a little bit here. You don't have to do this. This just makes it easier for it to... Uh, maneuver once it's all soldered so you don't break any of the contacts off which i've done before all right. so my hand might get in the way and that's okay because uh i will explain how i'm doing it in a second so what i'm doing is is on these contacts uh if you can see i'm trying to hear let me stand up right so this is what i just soldered on right this little uh, blob right here that's solder you want to get that hot to where it looks molten and then you'll pretty much stick this on top of that and it'll sink to the bottom it'll just sink to the bottom of there and it'll attach this is the most unorthodox uh, soldering video or uh, tutorial uh, this is not even a tutorial this is just me trying to fix something this is the second time I've done this so um, beginners luck who knows Cool. So that's one down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stand up every two seconds and make sure I'm even recording the damn thing. <sighs> Balls. Alrighty, so we're gonna move on to number two. Which is going to be another number 10. Yeah. And this tape is strong as hell. And then the second number 10 will go on number. 11, which would be down here. It's another easy one to get to. I'm trying to knock all these easy ones out. You know what I'm gonna start doing? I'm just gonna put a little bit more solder here. A nice little blob there. That'll just make it easier. We won't have to re-solder so damn much. A lot of this solder is not sticking. That's not a good sign. That means it is oxidized. That could be a problem because I have no flux. <laughs> no flux right now because I forgot to buy some. Like a moron. I wonder if my head's getting in the way. I don't know. I can't see. So, C45. So this one is not going to look very good. This whole section 
is probably not going to look very good, especially like this one right here. This whole section is highly corroded, or was highly corroded. I scratched off most of it, but it uh, doesn't help too much. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Next one is 68. 68 goes on 47. So 47 is located right. Yo, that's not good. Yeah, see 47 right here. Where did I put it? I already lost the part. What did I just do with it? Oh, it's right here. See? Uh, rule number one. Uh, remember where you put things, because if you're an idiot, um, you'll lose it. Also, you should have a, a stand for your soldering iron, like a ching. I have it, and it's way over here. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, it's very annoying. Whoa, calm down there, Shaggy. My, uh, my stand here has Parkinson's. For C47. Uh, and you can tell, any of these C47s, these weird numbers that go, what the hell does that mean? Well, they're actually on the board. They're all labeled. So you shouldn't have any trouble identifying it. And if you do, uh, you want to check with your doctor because you might be blind. But that's okay. I, too, have poor eyesight. But uh, I'm used to it, so, you know. This is a hospital. Oh, by the way, this is not a guarantee to work whatsoever. Um, there could be an underlying issue or screen damage, and then that's another party that uh, hopefully I don't have to go to. But um, this is just the start. This is just kind of where you start, especially for game gears or handhelds that usually have issues in general. These are usually the where you where you start. I got that one in, I got that one in. And they look big and bulky, but they work. I mean, they're not as, as uh, classy as the square encased ones that were there, but these are newer, these are better. So we'll go from there. And that 100 that I set aside before, um, I'm actually going to need that. Because it turns out that I missed that to begin with. And let's see, it goes on 68. Oh, 
Alrighty, and here is the last battery. So, uh, let's see what we got. Oh, we got something. You can see that. That's a good start. From something to nothing. Let's try this contrast. Yeah, look at that, baby. Alright, so that's good. So it literally did not do anything. Now it does literally something. Let's try a video game. And these games usually suck. Um, I could use so many metaphors for what something sucks, but we're just going to keep this PG. Manhandle this thing. I think something is getting in the way here. That's gonna be this one. If I bend it this way. Yep. Cool. So I do a little bit of this action. You like what you saw there? Nice, right? games. Maybe the game's bad. Maybe the volume's bad too. Maybe the volume is corroded. Okay, see we got something going on there. It was a good start. <laughs> something something else is wrong. Let's try uh, let's try some more games. So, this is the one that I fixed earlier. It still has these lines, these vertical lines on the screen, but I really didn't want to bother with it too much. As you can tell. Like, we can already see this game works, so we already know it's good to go. So if this doesn't work in here, then you know, bada boom, bada bang, we got more problems. I ain't talking about my student loans. Huh? It looks better. You can see my reflection. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> looks even better. Okay, please don't look at my reflection in the screen. It's creepy. Okay? I don't know you that well. If you're just watching my videos. It's kind of hot, but you know. It just gets worse. I wonder if it has anything to do with these ribbon cables. Alright, I'm gonna get back with you. Okay, so I'm not completely satisfied with this right here. Uh, it works. I mean, it turns on, you saw that, but the blue light. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe it has something to do with the power supply. Not audio. I, you know, it's audio. We know the game works. We've seen the game work. That's science. But, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do this, this border right here. Because that, uh... That might be the case. That might be the scenario, bu buckaroos. Let's zoom in. Let me straighten this shit out. Holy God. I love this little, this little tripod arm, but uh, you're either super accurate or you're not. Okay, let's uh, let's take this take this shit out. Uh, can you take this straight out? Yeah, we probably take it out. Okay, so 
I've plugged everything in and tried everything and the screen comes on, all the goodies work, but the games don't play. So I'm going to try replacing all of these uh, caps that were uh, uh, to this power supply, but I don't know if it's going to work. I have a feeling this one might actually be a shitter, but we uh, we won't know until we try, I guess, right? Oh shit, I got to desolder these. I usually pull the heads off of these fuckers first because... Because uh, it makes it easier. Makes it easier to solder. When I'm soldering. Oh shit. And also, if you have like these little hands right here, these are really helpful. Which I shall be using. Uh, these are the power supply ports, so I'll be using those. But this is what I call a helping hand. And it's very good. Very good to use. If you accidentally combine positive and negative, just pretty much kill yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you want to like take the solder and you want to scoop it up and you want to make let it travel up the resistor or the capacitor, whatever the fuck these things are called. So there you go. There's that one. Then we're gonna do the big boy, big old fat motherfucker. <laughs> shit off and this is not even guaranteed to work if this doesn't work after this i'm gonna make a part two and then i'm gonna just experiment on that later so alrighty. so now i'm playing a new movie i'm watching the thing Woo and then um the big big bitch goes on c13 which is this one 
the 820 UF. And that is going to be uh, C13. Which one's positive, which one's negative? I don't know. I'd say this one's negative. Who knows, I'm not a doctor. So I can't get my little shit through here. Oh, that's not good. This is never fun. My damn hole is blocked. Ay, ay, ay. One of these helping hands are absolute dog shit balls. They're terrible. Oh, fuck. How am I gonna do this now? Trying to jam that little shit head through. That's a loop, pig. That's a loop. By now, you probably already understood exactly what I'm doing. If you haven't, I'm sorry, Kyle. I'm trying my best to explain, but I get really distracted. Coolio. Now we got those on. Nice. Nice and neat there. Put those two things on. Now we need one more. This one's not going to be as fun because it's really small. And I have to find something to poke a hole through with that. And that's that tool I was referring to right here. This will work. Maybe. <coughs> Shit. Actually, maybe it won't work. Maybe those holes are too small. Hey, yeah, yeah, which hole is it? on C5 is going to be the 22 UF. Cut those short. Move the legs. And this is the Awfully fun part. Anything small like this, they're so tedious and ridiculous. So find which side you're positive or negative. I'm gonna throw that in there. And just kind of apply pressure to it as you heat up the other side, which is really annoying. But it's the only way that I've found that works pretty well. I would that each piece I think right through. Neat. That is not a bad thing. Okay. So I've hit a standstill. Um, this is all that happens when a game is put in, regardless of what game it is. It looks better, it looks worse sometimes. But um, I'm like pretty sure it has to do with this L2 right here. This little piece right here. I can't get a hold of it, but it's corroded to hell and it's useless. Um, this one might not be working. Um, that's the only two things I think. Um, or just this whole piece right here doesn't do anything. So I will get to part two of this video um, whenever I can. It took me a while to get to this one. But uh, hopefully you'll see more repair videos and uh, me actually being able to complete them. Um, I Like I said, I fixed that one. So that one's fixed. So, I got lucky with that one, I guess. This one was also in a lot worse shape. This had a lot of water damage. So, uh, damn.